relationship rescue and finding your joy codependency energy cycle that we all play and the games we play and what happens after we break this cycle it's about being connected rather than addicted by wendy shuttleworth i'm wendy shuttleworth i'm a spiritual trainer coach certified transformation agent and i'd love to meet you if you're passionately committed to change you might have felt abused mistreated um, tired of playing games i don't know if you've felt that i know I found myself in different situations and in life and different games I've landed up playing and it's very frustrating when you see yourself playing the same game again and again and wonder and getting the same results you know they say insanity is doing the same thing again and again and expecting different results yet in our personal relationships we often do different things so I've come up with different ways of being and different ways of having a relationship and I'd like to share that with you so when we first meet someone lots of love energy attention both ways honeymoon everything happy 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 and we're giving each other energy but then and, and that energy almost feels like um, excitement and adrenaline but then life gets in the way and you get tired and you hold on to your own energy so you're not feeding the other person with energy. You're paying the bills, you're feeding the kids, you are doing meeting deadlines, life happens, you know, and you hang on to your own energy because you're tired, so you're not feeding as much energy. The honeymoon is over. This is the critical point here to try and keep balance equal as possible. Realize you must find your own happiness and security and that clinging or pushing away the other person uh, doesn't work in the extreme. So here you need to start a journey of completing your own soul puzzle. In other words, learning how to complete yourself and make yourself feel complete. Um, rather than waiting for somebody else to make you feel happy or somebody else to make you feel complete or waiting for somebody else to give you energy. Learning about getting your own and dealing with life in your own way. What we tend to do is we tend to go into patterns where person A just calling them A, whoever they are, gets needy and attention and energy in the relationship is dropped, so it's lower because life happens and the person starts feeling, what's wrong? What's going on? Doesn't person B love me? And as A does this, they get more clingy, more needy. And then B, the other person, thinks, why has this person been so clingy? I'm feeling crowded. And they start pushing you away or becoming more distant. Here, next step, it tends to become more. A gets more clingy and B gets more distance. And the game continues. Sometimes it swaps around. The pull gives up and swap. A gives up and may briefly become distant. They're tired. They, you might hear them saying, I'm tired of always being the one chasing, always putting the energy in. B suddenly realizes A is not so clingy and may feel more clingy themselves. What is happening? What? How come isn't A giving so much attention? Why are they not being so clingy? What's going on? The the trick to the relationship is to try and keep the the push and the pull and the, the balance as equal as possible at most times. Obviously life is flux and life is change. But it's about trying to find your own happiness and your own security in yourself and realizing the push-pull codependency pattern and learning to get over it. So let us help you complete your soul puzzle now and get over the, the addiction, the pattern, the codependent game. Be connected rather than addicted and complete your own puzzle and find your own happiness. Thank you and I wish you many, many happy relationships or happy times in your current relationship. Let's put it that way. Thank you. Bye.